six as Sweezum gets ready to kick it toward Matthew Willis. The tail of the two quarters. The Broncos managed only eight yards in that first quarter and no first downs. The most points in that quarter in some 64 games for the Denver side. And this is not going to be returnable either. So, as we get the third quarter started, you could hear the guys back in the studio. Some of the thoughts about the second half. What do you expect here? Well, I did hear their thoughts. And, you know, did you ever think we would say this? You know, if the Steelers can hang in there, yeah, how about that? Right. And, uh, and I really mean that. Uh, the defense, two big key injuries again here in the first half. And the fact that we've seen their offense struggle, getting open. You know, the guys Lord. talked about in the studio. They're not shaking loose. And Roethlisberger cannot move at all. It's a handoff up the middle. McGahey for five. Roethlisberger threw it 23 times in that first half. Was picked once by Carter. Tebow had five completions. You're going against a defense here that gave up the fewest 20-yard pass plays in the entire league. But he had four throws that went for 30-plus, including two over 50 to Thomas. And wide open pitch to McGahee and a first down bumped out by Monday and as you look down on the field the Steelers come out here third quarter again without Kiesel or Hampton on the field good job down the line of scrimmage James Harrison he's caught and a good block on the outside they get Lawrence Timmons knocked down and the Broncos are one of the few teams they look at the pictures they know they're going to be confused by defenses they come out because they're going to play them differently because of the option they make adjustments at halftime. I think we just saw one right there. McGahee now 41 yards on 11 rushes. T-ball fires it incomplete. He's going to Thomas. There is a flag. Well, Jim, there was one of those throws where he did not hesitate. He let it go. And the coverage was tight, too. Holding. Defense number 24. Five yard penalty and a first down. It's been a rough day for Ike Taylor. It, it has on the outside. That's Thomas. Good job of coming inside. He had that right hand on Thomas. He pulled him and it was a good call. I'd, I'd say that's the Broncos' favorite play action pass. Fake the like the option, the give route, or the give to the running back, throw it over the middle to the wide receiver. Five-yard penalty, first down at the 40. Lance Ball. There's Polamalu right in the middle of things, trying to pull that football out. But we'll show it to you as we go along here. Now, the first couple plays, this Steeler defense, they are going at the line of scrimmage. So if a runner breaks through, gets a couple yards, there's not anybody back there to chase them down and make the tackle. So Dick LeBeau, you know, maybe a little too aggressive here early. This time, Troy Polamalu playing deep center field. Second down and eight. And that's a first down for Royal. At the Pittsburgh 45. Good for 13. The one thing that happens when you play against this offense, you're so worried about the run. Look, nobody on the outside because you got to go in and embrace yourself in case it's a little option or the quarterback runs. So Denver, when Tim Tebow, they go through their week of passing, they just say, well, one-on-one -on -one here, one-on-one -on -one over here. There's nothing to read. It's read your guy. Does he beat the defender that's covering him? And here they come, everybody near the line of scrimmage. Ohamalu up there. Boy, he was in so fast, he almost didn't get the handoff. Ohamalu and Tebow exchange a few words, picks up two. You know, Bobby Douglas, that name keeps coming up. You mentioned it in the first half. Dick LeBeau mentioned it yesterday, the old left-handed quarterback for the Bears. He said, yep, I've seen a few option plays in my life. And he goes, played against Bobby Douglas. And this is really like a true triple option. Bobby Douglas read it, gave it, kept it, pitched it. Dick LeBeau played against it, had a 5-1 and one record against that option as a player. Second down and eight. Step back, wanting to throw. 
Now the third option is to run it, and he's down at the 40. And the folks here wanted a flag for a late hit, but there is not one. Gain of three. Well, Tim Tebow looking down the field, and as he goes, watch the receivers. Again, the fake. He's looking over the middle. It's not there. There's nowhere to go. Both receivers covered. Does a good job. And then when he runs, remember, he's a runner. Is it a late hit? He's trying to get down. Or a spearing. He went head first, Jim. It's not. If he'd have slid with his feet in there and said, I'm giving myself up, that would have been fine. He did not do that. You may have seen Lamar Woodley is out. He's on the sideline with a helmet off. So more names to the list. And the direct snap here. McGahee is stopped short. He got to about the 38. Now a decision. Do you bring out Prater, who has made 59 yarders this year on a couple of occasions? No, they're going to punt it. Yeah, you know, John Fox is going 20 to 6. First off, Willis McGahee, the Wildcat. We're starting to see all these plays that you and I watch every Friday when we see practice. But John Fox, take no chance. Don't give up the field position. Field goal would have made, if it had been good would have made it a three score differential but they'll bypass the 56 yard attempt as ball runs out there late and, and, and Jim I think this is a no brainer for John Fox you put the football in this situation it's Britton Colquitt Willis is there to cover it up and he bats it out of bounds he was not going to let that go into the end zone so the Steelers will start deep in their own territory down.